Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over unordered lists. Unordered lists are simply lists of items where the order is unimportant. Okay, so there's a couple examples. Here's an article over an REI uh, website, and you'll see they've got this bulleted list here. That's a very traditional unordered list where they're talking about several parts to a, to a task. Over on the IRS website, they have a little navigation menu. This is an unordered list using an image as the bullet point. And over at the Apple website, their navigation menu across the top is actually an unordered list styled quite dramatically so that it doesn't look like a traditional unordered list. So let's uh, give this a shot on our own page. So I've got a basic page here set up, and an unordered list is created with just a couple of key elements. There is a set of unordered list tags opening and closing, unordered list opening tag, unordered list closing tag, and within this set of tags you're going to create two or more list item elements. So I can do a list item for milk, eggs, and sugar. Okay, so I've got my three items. This is my shopping list and there's really no reason that I need to get one product over the other so an unordered list is the way to go and if I save this and check it out we can see here's this here's what we typically get with our unordered list now that we can create an unordered list you can use a little CSS formatting to get some slight variations of this particular list so I can jump over to my CSS file which I've already started and I can create, let's see, for my unordered list, I can do list style type circle. Okay. Now, by default, my unordered list is going to have bullets. But now that I've changed my CSS over to circle, we get little hollow circles. Okay. And if you use the default, which is disk, D-I-S-C, then you'll get the, the, the default. Okay? And there's one more we can use, square. And of course we get our square bullets. So you can do disk, D-I-S-C, circle, or bullet. Now you can do some other things too. You can do none if you don't want there to be any visible bullets. And this is one of the steps you'd have to do in order to create an Apple style navigation menu, get rid of the bullets. Now the IRS website, they are using little orange triangles. Well, you can also do a list style image. And for something like that, you would use a uh, the keyword URL, and then in parentheses, you would put the path to the image you want to use. So I have an, an image already. It's in my images folder slash and then it's a check bullet and there it is and that's going to be used for my unordered list now oh, that's where I want to be and there we go so now I've got my check marks there okay so disk square circle or we can use an image for our bullets and let's try one more thing here I can switch this over to list style in, um, I'll go back to list style type none and then on my list items, I'll go ahead and do a um, display inline. And just that little change there, by the way, gets my list items side by side. So, uh, so now I have a horizontal display of menu items. We can go a step further th with this, by the way. So a little more room to work here. And I'm going to go back to my unordered list. I'm going to do margin 0, padding 0, and I'm going to do the same thing for my list items. Margin 0, padding 0. But I'll go a step further here, and I'm going to put a little bit of content after my list items. So how about if I do li after content, and we can put in quote comma space quote there we go check this out now we have comma spaces after each of our list items and by the way if I go back to my web page and add in 
more stuff. No problem. It gets updated. You say, yeah, but I don't want that comma after the last one. Easy enough to fix using some more CSS. We can head over and create another rule. Li after, but actually we want to do our list item last child after. And I'll do content empty set of quotes. And that'll get rid of the comma after the last list item. So there we go. So that's a little bit of playing around with list items. We can do a variety of bullets. We can use images. Or we can dramatically change the look of our list items so that they're horizontally displayed.